Today, I'm going to show you how to whip up a delicious, creamy cilantro lime dressing in less than five minutes. Before we get into how to make this dressing, let's talk about the flavors going into it. Of course, we have to have cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, this is not the recipe for you. The next ingredient going into our dressing is going to be jalapeno. If you have a serrano pepper, you could just double up and use that in its place. Next, we're gonna use a clove of fresh chopped garlic and some freshly squeezed lime juice. Now the creamy in this cilantro lime dressing is going to come from mayonnaise. I'm using a low fat mayo. If you don't wanna use mayo and you wanna keep it a little bit more on the healthy side, feel free to sub in half of an avocado in its place. And last but not least, we're gonna have some oil. I am using avocado oil. It is my favorite oil for salad dressings. I know there are some of you that are dead set on olive oil when it comes to salad dressings. But what I've noticed is when I use olive oil, unless you're working with a superb high quality olive oil, it could give your dressing a little bit of a bitter note. Avocado oil is truly flavorless and perfect for this dressing. Last but not least, we'll season it with a little bit of salt and pepper and that's all you need guys. Now let's get into making this dressing. You're going to need a little food processor or a blender and that's about it. You're gonna want about one cup of cilantro leaves. I don't bother removing the stems, but I do like to give it a rough chop just before throwing it into the food processor. Now, because everything's going into the food processor, there's no need to mince anything fine. Just a good rough chop is all you need. And now for the jalapeno, I'm just gonna take off the stem, cut it lengthwise, if you want your dressing to be spicy, go ahead and leave some of those seeds in there. I'm really opting more for the flavor of the pepper, not the heat of the pepper. So I'm just using a spoon to get in there and get these seeds out. I don't mind if there are a few seeds left behind. I just don't want it to be overwhelmingly hot. I'm gonna give this just a rough chop now and into the little food processor. And now for some garlic. I just need one clove of garlic. A little bit of garlic goes a long way. To get the paper off the garlic, I like to just split it in half and then pop that flat side down on the cutting board and the paper just peels right off. So easy. Again, a rough chop and into the bowl. Now for the lime, you can't have cilantro lime dressing without the lime. So we'll just split these in half. Let's move this over here for the time being and start getting that citrus into the bowl. Now just under a teaspoon of kosher salt and black pepper and we'll add in the mayonnaise. And last but not least, the oil. And now we're just gonna pop this lid on and mix it all up. Once those cilantro leaves start to look really small and teeny tiny, you know your dressing is ready and it's time to eat. Let's give it a taste and see how we did. Oh, there is a lot of flavor coming from one teeny tiny spoonful. Right off the bat, you're gonna get that lime, that burst of acidity. Then comes the cilantro, the garlic, and just a little bit of heat. It is totally perfect for serving over anything with Tex-Mex or Mexican vibes. More specifically, this chicken fajita Tex-Mex salad. Now let's see if I can manage to get this dressing into the pitcher without spilling. Oh, that is a beautiful, beautiful sight to behold. This is gonna make about one cup of dressing. Time to top off the salad. Oh man, that color is just gorgeous. And I cannot wait to dive in. This is lunch today. So that's it y'all. Creamy cilantro lime dressing, as you can see, insanely easy to make and insanely delicious. 
Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Anthony Kitchens, where we post a new recipe every single week and to theanthonykitchen.com where all of these glorious recipes live. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.